I'm John Pontefract, I'm the uh, volunteer manager for the uh, Stroud District Council led canal project and we're working here at uh, Woolbridge Lower Lock. We work every Tuesday and Thursday and I have a gang of volunteers usually from about 10 o'clock through to about 3.30. The work here is um, has been relatively simple compared to a lot of locks. We've um, taken off all the coping stones and uh, stripped the brickwork down about seven or eight courses, rebuilt the brickwork, put the coping stones back on. Other work we need to do here includes um, cutting out the lock ladders. We were putting in lock ladders uh, from top to bottom on both sides of the lock. Um, the, this lock and all other locks on the Thames and Severn and Stroud Water didn't originally have lock ladders, but we need it for modern uh, safety standards. This involves cutting out a lot of brickwork and then rebuilding a nice uh, square rebate to uh, bolt the lad ladders to. At the bottom end of the lock, on the um, offside against the bank, we've got a bit of a problem. We have a bank that's collapsing and it's pushing the lock side inwards and it's also collapsing a building in on the, uh, the lock. That uh, task is going to be undertaken by um, contractors. They're going to come and uh, demolish the walls, rebuild them, and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a sound lock. But the actual lock structure is uh, generally very, very sound, and we're, we're pleased with the progress here. Over on this side here, we've got some volunteers moving uh, the coping stones back into position in the uh, upper gate recess. As you can see, the uh, the stone they're uh, mortaring up at the moment is, is rather large and it's been a bit of a, a struggle to get it both out and back into place. There's uh, two or three others to go in place and then that side will be finished and we can uh, get ready to hang gates over in that recess. The upper gates have already been manufactured and they're sitting in the factory in Yorkshire ready to be installed. This area of the upper sill was particularly chewed up and from approximately this area here to, to the edge here we had to dig it out, take out a timber that ran uh, across the lock and then concrete uh, and reinforcement has been poured in, in this area to, to give us a nice sound sill. This is important because the upper gates are going to hinge into this area here and timbers will need to be bolted down to this surface. So rather than having chewed up bricks and timber, we've replaced the whole uh, area with uh, flat concrete. Morning, my name is Mark and I'm here to help the Cotswold Canal Trust at Stroud and I'm putting a bit of muscle in to help the community get a lovely walkway through along the Stroud Valley. So this is my first working party uh, at the Can Cotswold Canal Trust and I'm, I'm preparing the groundwork to be able to move the coping stones back so that they can relay the, the area. 